Good afternoon. It's July the 1st, uh, Wednesday afternoon. Just a little while ago, Governor Cooper spoke and he let us know that they're not prepared in Raleigh to let us know uh, how we're going to go back to school, Plan A, Plan B, Plan C. Uh, we had hoped that on June 30th that he would make that announcement that I had been I notified that that was going to happen then, and it didn't. They moved it to today. And then this morning we learned that they were going to delay again. And, uh, you know, to their credit, I think that they're trying to make the right decision based on science and, and based on a lot of other pieces as well. Uh, meanwhile, we're in the same boat that you are. We're waiting. Um, we don't know if it'll be Plan A, Plan B, or Plan C. I join with the governor, and uh, I hope and pray uh, that we will be back with Plan A. That's what I am I'm shooting for. Um, we're making sure that we've got hand sanitizer uh, by the gallons and soap, and uh, we have cleaning schedules, and we know how we're going to run buses and this, that, and the other, just so that we can get all of our kids back in the building. And uh, I think that we may be able to, but we'll just have to wait and see. If we go to Plan B, we're going to be ready for that as well. And if it's Plan C, we've been working hard to make sure that our remote learning plan is is kind of upgraded and on steroids from what it was back in the spring. Uh, it'll be a little different than what uh, you, ex you, you experienced then, but we'll share that with you later as well. Um, the most important thing for you to know is that we're getting ready, and as soon as they pull the trigger in Raleigh, uh, we'll pull the trigger with them, and we'll be back on social media and be communicating with you um, to make sure that you know how we're going to move forward from there. Um, I need to emphasize that the three W's really are important, and, and I know that a lot of people just really don't want to wear a mask, and I don't blame you. I don't like to wear them either. But uh, wearing a mask and waiting six feet from other people and washing our hands frequently really will help us. Those are the three primary ways that we can get ourselves back into school on August the 17th. So uh, I encourage you, please, to do those things. You know, the rates of uh, infection here in Swain County are much different than the rates of infection in other places. And so we can keep it down and we may be able to be back on plan A if you'll just help us with those three W's. So, so please try that. Uh, we would appreciate it if you would. Um, as for what's going to happen later, we'll just wait and see, and we'll let you know as quickly as we know. As a matter of fact, let me encourage you one more time to uh, subscribe to the Maroon Devil Network. That way you will get a notification whenever we have something posted, and that way you'll be up to date as quickly as we're up to date. And it's my, my promise to you that as soon as we know something, and we'll get word out to you, and we'll share what we know and what the plans are. So, enough said for today, I think. Welcome to July. Here's hoping for a July that is less eventful than June was, perhaps. And I'm hoping for you that you have a great July 4th this weekend. Enjoy it. Please be safe. Practice the three W's. And until we get to speak with you again, uh, God bless you. Have a great weekend. And uh, thanks for being part of our family. Talk to you later.